welcome to a brand new season of the Josh and Ashley Show, and we're just delighted to be with you, and I'm excited to be back, aren't you? Always a joy to be here and bring new guests and new music to yes. the people that watch our show. That's right, and we've got some wonderful guests lined up this season. We're going to have a, a wonderful season of music and fun and fellowship and the words, the songs, everything you can think of. It's We're going to do it for the glory of the Lord That's and right. lift so him up. set your DVR right now. That's right. To record every week. Every week, the Josh and Ashley Show. We want you to tune in and invite your friends and tell them all about it. We want them to be a part of what's going on here on the Josh and Ashley Show. And they can find out more information about the Josh and Ashley Show by... What? Oh, absolutely. Our website is www.joshandashleyfranks.com. Yep. We also have a Facebook page. We do. Um, if you go to our website, you can sign up for our weekly email. We Certainly. send out an email every week Certainly. telling you where we're going to be and who's on the show and yeah. what's going on. So, yeah, we're not hard to find. And then, of course, on our website, you can find all the information about our products, our itinerary, our schedule, mm -hmm. where we're going to and be. our church. Our church, mm -hmm. People's Tabernacle, Savannah, Tennessee, where we are pastors there in our hometown. So we'd love for you to check it out. Out, write us a letter, send us an email, let us know you're watching the Josh and Ashley Show. You know, just these last several weeks, we've got a lot of messages and a lot of calls and, and emails about our show. Sweet people being so kind to us and telling us that they're watching, and we certainly do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. It just makes us smile, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it makes I can't us believe happy. so many of y'all watch this. Oh, it's wonderful. We're so happy. And you know what they love? They love the music. Yes. And the reason I believe they love the music is not particularly in our singing, but because of the songs that we sing, because the gospel message in this music changes lives. And we love this music, and I know you do too. So let's sing one today, all right? Let's just kick this thing off with a grand song that gives the gospel message. You still got to kneel at the cross to be born again. I hope you like this little song. cross if you want to be saved today and it still takes the soul cleansing blood of the lamb to wash your sins away there's nothing that can take its place for the heart that is weary and lost if you want salvation that is real you still gotta kneel kneel at the cross no short you can't bypass Calvary. Come humbly in confession. Bow down at Jesus' feet. That's where His love is waiting to fully pardon you. This message is unchanging. No other way will do. Oh, you still gotta kneel at the cross if you wanna be saved. It still takes the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb to wash your sins away. There's nothing that can take its place for the heart that is weary and lost. If you want salvation that is real, you still gotta kneel, kneel at the cross. It takes more than good ambitions to pay sin's final price. Right. This world and its confusion can lead you the wrong way. The only right conclusion is old-fashioned grace.
Welcome back to the Josh and Ashley Show. We're so thankful that you've tuned in today, and we're so appreciative of you watching our program. Listen, we've got a guest today, and I'm excited about this guest, you know? You know, I know the kids don't say this anymore. Yeah. But this guy we have today, he's just cool. He's a cool guy. <laughs> he's just a cool cat, yeah, you know? We, we say a cool dude. <laughs> yeah, oh, a cool, cool dude. And uh, we want to welcome him to the Josh and Ashley Show, Chris right. Golden. Right, man. How are you, Chris? I'm doing great. Thanks Thank for you the... for being on the Josh and Ashley Show. Thanks for the opportunity. Man, we're so glad that you're here. This, I'm telling you, this cat right here, we... This cat is cool. Uh -huh. ah, you know? Uh, Tell man. us about Chris Golden. It's getting harder and harder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Uh, My kids don't think so. No. no. How old are you kids? I have three kids. I got a 22-year-old. She's a senior at Lipscomb University. Oh, wow. Uh, she's studying theater. She's directing her first play right now. That's, that's awesome. Great. Um, I have a daughter that's 18. And I have a son that just turned 16. Wow. So I've got three kids. That's and, great. Uh, That's great. And are they in music? They all play and sing. Every one of them does. Elizabeth, uh, when she was about 13, she came out on the road with the I played with the Oak Ridge Boys for a lot of years. Right. So that's our family band, sort of. I grew right. up in it. But right. Elizabeth came out and played fiddle with us when she was only 13. So wow. she's an accomplished fiddler and played beyond her years. Uh, and she sang, she had an album out and had videos out, uh, kind of in the bluegrassy sort of vein. Oh, yeah. Uh, and yeah. Bluegrass gospel type stuff. And my other daughter plays piano quite well and ukulele, and Elijah plays drums and guitar, a little bit of bass, and they all sing. So Every they, one of them They've sing. got it in their genes, it's they in their do. DNA. But uh, I'm trying to talk them out of it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's something about music that just so soothes the soul. Oh, yeah. and, well, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing can calm me down anymore or make me feel any better than than music. To me, it's God's language. Yeah, you know? and Very uh, true. there's a lot of times that I I feel closest to God when I'm making music sure. because I know that He put it in me. Mm. Right. And uh, whenever I'm playing and singing, that's when I. I really feel close to God that's that's very when good. I'm playing music. That's and singing very good. Because that's my, my gift. Sure, sure. And we all have a gift. You know, not everybody is gifted to sing and to play and to write and so forth. Uh, but, but we all have a gift. And uh, I'm thankful for that gift that, that God has given us mm -hmm. and you, and that we can use it to share uh, the goodness of God and the blessings of God. And so it's a, it's a wonderful gift, isn't it? It is, and I remember, I, y'all look so young. I remember when I, <laughs> when I saw them, I, first time I met y'all was in Waldo, Florida, mm -hmm. and I thought y'all were young then, but you're still oh, young. Oh, yeah, we're still young. <laughs> we're still young. Hey, uh, hey, we're getting older every day. Speaking of young, now, you got started in this quote-unquote music world when you were really young, right? I, I did. I mean, and it was something that always came natural for us. My older right. brother, Rusty, he played drums, and... I can remember, you know, we used to fight over the drumsticks. I did my first little performance in the third grade, and I played drums. I played uh, Saturday in the park on the piano, and I played a song on the guitar, and I did a ventriloquist act. How about that? I was in the third grade. Jack of all trades. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, we were fighting over the drums, and my dad took me up to the, he had an old guitar. In fact, he just brought it out. He just turned 80 years old, and he brought his old Gibson out that his father bought him when he was 10 years old. But wow. he brought that guitar out, and he showed me three or four chords on that and said, hey, if y'all can learn to play together, maybe you could play in a band together. So I grew up, uh, it, something that came easy for me. Sure. My brother Rusty, when he was 13, he was very good at it. I was just trying to be like him. And he started playing drums with the Rambos when he was 13 years old. Wow. And they were on the top of it back then. And, well. uh, and uh, always were. Yeah. And he was around those great writers. And, and then Rusty started playing piano. And I, so I started playing the piano. And then he'd play a little guitar. And I've just kind of tried to be like him. And I had my first road gig, I guess, at 15 years old. I went out on the road with a group called the Telestials. Wow. And they're still out there, they too, and I think. Yeah. I was 15, and I played with them for about a year and a half, and then I got I got out of high school, and I joined up with a rock and roll band, and kind of started living that life for a while, and got really good at being bad, and yeah, and uh, you know you kind of sometimes a man's got to take the long way around to come yeah, back to what true. means the most to him, that's you know, and. Uh, 
But I, I knew that uh, God had put that music in me, and it's something that I never questioned where the gifts came from. Right. And I knew that it was always easy for me. But, uh, yeah, I've been doing it for a long, long time. And now, uh, <laughs> speaking of, um, yeah. for those that may not know, um, you play with the Oak Ridge Boys for how many years? I did. Well, you know, my brother and I, we had band. We had a band called the Goldens for a while. We actually uh -huh. had a group called Golden Spear uh, from with Mark Spear from the Spear family, and we were doing. We we were kind of rock and roll country, and back before Nashville was very rock and roll, we were a little heavier on the rock side. But we started playing more country type stuff and got a deal on Capitol Records, and uh, oh, we wow. also did a, an album for Columbia Records, CBS Records and had the same band together for nine years and they were all the one thing we all had in common is we all came from gospel music yeah wow. yeah and we had a great live show but we started i started having babies instead of hits <laughs> <laughs> and i had to take a side man it was time I to had, go home i had to take a job working for the Oak Ridge boys and i did yeah. that i was blessed to be able to do that for 17 years wow. and uh and and you had a connection there because uh, for those that are watching that doesn't know, your dad is William Lee. He's the one with the long white he's beard. He's the one with the long white beard, and he's been yeah. there for uh, ancient years yeah. now. Uh, of course, the Oak He Ridge joined Bulls. in 1965. Wow. And, and uh, still there today. Yeah. And they're still going strong. I'm, and I'm they still sing amazed. as good today as they ever have. Yeah. Well, they do, and they uh, awesome. they, they do have a sound, that's mm -hmm. for sure. No doubt. And, and the last couple of albums, you know, their, their new album's all gospel, and they... Yeah. You know, my dad said one time, we've got to sing more gospel music to more people since we turned country than we ever did when we were gospel. Mm -hmm. And they were at the yeah. top during the gospel mm -hmm. days, sure. you know. And sure, sure. So, so you, so you kind of did your thing and, and went out there, but then you came full circle. And now it's Chris Golden. Now it's just you and you're, you're traveling, you're singing, you're ministering and and uh, performing in places and all over the country, right? I am. And, I've uh, been so blessed to be able to do it. I'm, uh, you know, I, God has opened so many doors for me, and I pray every day for windows and doors to open for certainly, me. Certainly. And uh, then Josh called me and said, man, you want to come to Atlanta? And I said, you know what I did? I said, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Without any hesitation, it was a yes. I you know, I feel it. like I have to tell this story. Whenever I first met Josh, okay, he and I didn't know each other at all, but we had just met and he wanted me to come visit him in Tennessee where he lives. And he had not told me to that point that he drove a minivan, yeah. okay? Yeah. And this was like, I mean, it was just, I mean, it was like a guy in a minivan, right? Yeah. You know? So anyway, I, my mom and I drove up to Tennessee where Josh lived and we went to a hotel room. And the next morning, Josh pulls up to pick me up in his minivan. Well, I had it for ministry. <laughs> and he was oh, playing yeah. the song by the Oak Ridge Boys, It's Hard, hard to Be to Cool be in a Minivan. In a minivan. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. Like, this is yeah. the coolest guy ever, yeah. you know? He's even cool in a minivan. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, that's too funny. That's well, sweet. you know, like far as being the guest man, and I, 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 I do, I do pray for the windows and doors to open Certainly. for me every day to increase my territory. And uh, last year, I got invited to come do a by my church to, to come do a, this thing we call the Porch Festival in my uh -huh. hometown. Our, our church was sponsoring a stage there, and I had. I really didn't want to do it because I had done the first one, and it was 103 degrees, and there was no one there. Oh wow! Well. So sure enough, I. I said, sure, I'll do it. And I, I came back and I, it was 103 degrees and there was nobody there. <laughs> and out of that thing, I got invited that day to go to Israel for t uh, 12 days. Wow. And sing. And I wound up, more doors opened sure. when I got over sure. there. I also got invited to be on the Huckabee show that day. So it's any things with, you know, just right. from saying yes, I'll show up and Absolutely. do it that I, Absolutely. that I, um, I know that the prayers are being answered Amen. for me every Amen. time. And I've had a lot of people praying for me, Amen. too. Amen. Hey, why don't I you sing tell us you. a few songs? You I would love that? to. All right, we're going to let you get over on our music yeah, set and prepare to sing a few songs for us. And again, we're so happy to have Chris with us. And you're going to enjoy his music, and he's going to sing for you now. So will not you welcome him. Here he is, Chris Golden. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Falling 
and running out of faith. Stop me when I'm doubting things will be okay. Show me the way to find my way. Thank you, Lord, for this day. And help me when the world gives me more than I can take. When I make myself half crazy trying to do it my own way. Give me the words I need to pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Catch me when I stumble and blindly lose my way. Help me find the answers to this mess I've made. Keep sending. is not a race and teach me to surrender and live each day with grace show me how to walk on feet of clay thank you lord for this day oh catch me when i stumble and blindly lose my way help me find the answers to this mess i've made keep sending mess I've made. Keep sending your angels to keep me safe. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Every moment, every simple thread of grace. Thank you, Lord, You know, I was talking about my kids there just a few minutes ago, and and I think that, uh, you know, when they get to be teenagers, the Lord does kind of make them mean and rowdy, so you're kind of ready for them to get on out, you know. But uh, I think that kids have it pretty rough today. I know that other kids can be cruel. Uh, you know, maybe they wear their hair a little bit different. Uh, we all judge, every one of us do, man. I know that I've been guilty of it my own self. Maybe they wear their hair a little bit different. Uh, you know, I kind of come from a long line of look at me. So maybe I wear mine a little bit different. Uh, maybe they got tattoos all over their arms. Maybe they're pierced. Maybe they got a drug problem. Maybe they're standing on a street corner. This song asks us a question. I heard you say it more than once 
Those kind of people are at lost cause who want some. They're not even worth my time. I can't even stand their kind who needs them. Wasn't that a great song oh that my Chris gosh. sang there? Absolutely. Your son. What a beautiful song. I love the message in that. And boy, I am thankful for God's only begotten son. And if it wasn't for the Lord Jesus Christ, where would we all be today? Amen. So don't turn him away. Don't neglect him, but allow him to come into your heart and into your life. Thank you, Chris, for coming and being on the Joshua National Show today. Chris has a full schedule of events happening. You can find all of the information about Chris Golden, his uh, itinerary, his products. If you enjoyed it, why don't you go and visit chrisgolden.net. Again, that's chrisgolden.net. Check it out and make sure you let him know you're glad that he came to be a part of the Josh and Ashley show. You know, it's been a good program today. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly you get here and it just feels like it's over and it's gone. But you know what? Some, we'll be back next week. We're going to be back next week and we're looking forward to that. Until then, keep on the firing line. Don't give up. Keep pressing on. All right.